Financial Literacy for Kids Part 2 Making a Budget Do you know what the word budget means? Do you know why and how budgets are used? Budgeting is a skill that can help you learn how to save for something you want to buy and help you become more financially literate. Ready to get started? Let's go! A budget is a spending plan based on income and expenses. In other words, a budget estimates how much money you earn, receive as gifts, and spend over time, typically by month or by year. Making a budget helps create financial stability because it lets you track how much you spend and how much you can save, which makes paying bills and saving money easier. Another way a budget can be helpful is to make sure you spend within your means so you don't spend more money than you have. If you spend more money than you have saved, you will go into debt. Debt is money you borrow from someone that must be repaid. So, we know that budgets are important, but how do we make one? Let's ask our friend, Frankie Finance. Hey, Frankie. Ready to help us make a budget? First, you need to figure out how much money you expect to earn or that you will get from gifts. That is called your income. Each month, Frankie gets a $20 allowance, $30 for mowing lawns, and $20 for pet sitting, which means she will have a monthly income of $70. Next, Frankie has to figure out how much money she thinks she will spend. There are two types of expenses, fixed and variable. Fixed expenses are things you pay the same amount for each time, like school lunch. Variable expenses are the opposite. They vary or change. For instance, one month, Frankie wants to buy a pair of pants, and the next, she wants to buy a baseball glove. The prices of these items are different from each other, which means that the expenses are harder to plan for. This month, Frankie will spend $30 on school lunch, and she wants to spend $5 on a monthly online magazine subscription. But she also wants to buy a video game that costs $20. Will she have enough for the video game? Let's look at her budget and see. If we compare Frankie's income with her expenses, we see that she does in fact have enough money to buy the video game with $15 to spare. It is awesome that Frankie has enough money to pay for her needs, school lunch, and her wants, magazine subscription and video game. But it is important to remember that income and expenses are often estimated. Sometimes, unexpected expenses happen, so you have to make sure your budget is flexible and that you save for contingencies, which are unforeseen changes. Frankie finds out she has to contribute $5 to her school if she wants to go on a field trip to the museum. Luckily, this contingency did not exceed her budget, so she is able to go. The best part? She still has $10 to spare that she is going to stick into her savings account. Now that is some effective budgeting. Way to go, Frankie! Now it is your turn. At home, try this exercise out for yourself. You can download this lesson plan on learnbright.org and print off some practice pages. Before you know it, you will be a budgeting pro and on your way to becoming financially literate. 
hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.